Hello family and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48's World And we're going to get right on into this last finale Thank God, thank Jesus, thank you the world Because <sighs> I don't think I could have took another season And they say they canceling her reunion Which I don't know why she needed a reunion Because this ain't when she was with a cast that was built upon other people that's not related to her no we didn't need no no type of reunion this is a still a boiling hot mess from i guess it was the summer they were filming this show but honey we into another whole year and it don't seem like shit has went down any any further than what we saw last year okay it's still a very tense hot topic Portia is definitely trying to uh, dissect or take out, write out, cut out Dennis from her side of the family. She don't want him to have no parts of no type of reunions, no holidays, no nothing. She don't want Dennis to be around her family, period. Because she feels that he has tainted everybody against her. So she's going to take baby PJ dad from what he's known since she's been in this world is hanging out with her side of the family that's what he's known for that's what everybody love him for even though they know uh that boy in the middle was real messy and lauren overlooked some things honey that that cousin lundy was trying to get things straight with portia because she don't take portia shit but even portia made her cry <coughs> and portia even walked off from filming because she was saying she was tired of Lundy, her family, probably tired of uh, Lauren too, but she shouldn't have bought uh, those two assistants on the trip because that was their that was her catalyst to start the shit that even started up all this shit between London, Lundy and and, and um, Lauren, meaning her sister, and other ingredients that mixed up a recipe for disaster. These people do not want to come on no reunion show with Portia. Okay, none of them do. Because they have watched the footage. They have been shown how the editors have edited them out. And none of them look good on screen. So, quite the contrary, I don't even see why Portia went to them trying to insist that they come on. Now, this joker right here, he ain't even part of the family, okay? But he if they gave him a contract to come back he would come back he was on house of aaron's show aaron was interviewing him and stuff about you know the contents and the character of everybody that was involved with the making of uh portia's family matters and you know he was just saying it was a mess and this that, and that but he couldn't even really say uh up front and just aren't being honest that yeah i started the shit that's why they had me come on him but it is what it is but i don't think i'm i would come back because it, it's just too stressful like man they gave you the right money you would come back aunt liz would come back and simon would come back but we all that you know really want to have some integrity for the black races and nothing else we don't want you to come back Porsche. you need to go on back if they will have you on the real housewives of atlanta and take the heat over there go back to this nation if they will have you get your jobs back because this little whole thing of you becoming a mother and a housewife we had saw it done it with you with cordell and you see how that ended up you quit your jobs or, or one job you had in the daycare to be a full-time uh mother to his um I guess he would have been your stepson because y'all have no relation and it's not your child and all that. So that would have been your stepson. So, uh, you know, I'm like, come on, girl. You, Aunt Liz making a fool at you. She going around here talking to Dennis about you. She going around here talking to Simon about you. Ta going around here talking to uh, Lauren about you, meaning your sister. And it's just not a good look. Nobody really played fair. Nobody really uh, was really into the scenes that they were portraying i don't know what kind of guidance you gave them but nobody was you know doing anything that was making you look good and then you were still making an ass at yourself as well but when you came to the conclusion that you were going to cut dennis out your life you wouldn't even tell him towards the end of the show where you were living he even guessed it bookhead santa springs which one and you was like all being invasive like you got that man's son i mean you got that man's daughter he needs to know where his child is in case anything happened to you anything happened to her he don't give a shit about Simon, but i'm sure you know he would be like 
oh well can i donate some food to the services or what <laughs> you know what i'm saying but you and his daughter is like still his uh top priority and that's a sad way of looking at this because y'all supposed to be through with each other but you could tell the chemistry between you all y'all are both hurt y'all are both hurt about the situation and i really both believe if y'all really got beside y'all feelings and stuff y'all could make it work if dennis was ready to live a um married type of life but you can't be stampeding him you can't be making decisions for him about his daughter without even discussing it that ain't nothing between you and simon that's everything and anything between you and dennis he has to know he has the right to know what school is she's going to be going to he has the input he should definitely be going with you you know some places you think you want to go because he might have some places he wants you to check out and he's saying y'all gotta ride in the same car but y'all can meet each other and exclusively be on one team be unified when you go look at these schools and you should be taking pj too with you to see how she would fit in all right i mean come on then you just sit up there blaming him and just because he told lundy that you had him fire her from the event planning you're gonna look up there in the face you were showing to lundy it, it just proves right then and there that you had did it because you had everything going on you, you were playing with your mouth and everything you had told dennis to fire her but lord and behold i didn't know you had fired lundy one time before that as your assistant and that's how dom got in the picture you didn't tell her until it was like at the very end of the conversation of her destroying your chanel bag i mean she didn't have to pack your your toiletries like that if you knew something slip out of that you should have been handling that she shouldn't have been packing your clothes or anything that's something you should have been doing so if a chanel bag got messed up oh well it really shouldn't have been made for you to fire her i mean come on you, you girl she's your family all right but then she got mad at London. Cause Landon was saying, you know, you don't treat me right. You don't talk to me right. Because Denny had told her that why she don't never stand up for herself. Because he had noticed on several occasions how Portia talks to you. And then even Dom and Lauren, her new assistant, was saying, yeah, she do kind of treat you kind of crazy and talk to you kind of crazy. And she was just, you know, inquiring with Portia about that. And Portia went all off on her. Saying, you ain't want nobody him for me when I was going through my little thing. You weren't here for me. You were nowhere to be found. And London was like, damn, girl, I was in college. And she probably was a freshman in college. Portia's the oldest cousin. So why would London have to sit up there and check your every whereabouts? A matter of fact, did you call London when you were going through all your issues with Cordell, Clinton, uh, the other boyfriend you had, all the shit going on with you? Did you call and say, look, I'm going through. Can you talk to me? Or can I come down and see you? Or can you come home for the weekend? No, you didn't do all of that. Because guess what? You were the old cousin. You didn't need to fall back to your very youngest cousin to get her advice on something. That was piss poor judgment for you to throw that shit up in her face like it was something major that she missed out on and she should have been there for you and da 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 and all this kind of shit. No, she was living her life, a college life, which she should have been doing. You should have been talking to your mama. You could have been talking to Lauren. You could have been talking to Storm if you wanted to. Okay, because these are the people you brought on the show as your family. I mean, you had a hell of a lot of people I'm sure you could have reached out to. And if you didn't, then you need to check yourself and figure out why your circle is so small. But the one in person you should have went to first was the Lord Jesus Christ. Then you should have went to your mama. Okay? Since you, you, you love her so much, you entrusted her wisdom and all of this. She's a godly woman. Why you can go to your mama? So, you know, you're talking about the side of your neck portion real bad. And, you know, you're going to sit up there and treat Dennis like a dog. And you were the main catless up there showing out in Mexico. Okay? Wanting to put him in jail and all that shit. And then you're going to invite him in the house when he's trying to bring baby girl back home to you. And you're talking about, come on in, let's talk. And this and that. Hell, I wouldn't have came across that threshold either. I know I sure wouldn't have. Uh, no, ma'am, I can't. I can't do it because you just uh, you pretty much tried to put me in jail in Mexico. And you know how hard it is to get out of a Mexican jail and being black too? She no then you got the cameras rolling here for more appetite uh season salacious stories that they can film on me no i like coming back home to atlanta i like living in the states i like my business i like my freedom okay girl hell no i ain't coming in that house when we had to take pj to the dot let me confirm that he just kept saying that when Portia was trying to basically break the ice and have him to come in all this kind of shit while she's still alive 
and he was like, Mm-mm, no, so no, Lord, no, God. I'm not coming up in the house. Eight o'clock is where you said we need to be there. I need to be there. And y'all pack a bag. And this, you know, he's just talking all formalities about his child, which that's where he should have stayed front, center, and stage. Okay. So we moved on from that situation. And, you know, she was kind of being upset, trying to, you know, walk up the start, stare. Like, she ain't started shit. Like, she got amnesia or something. I'm like, Portia, Portia, you just tried to get the man locked up in jail for his so called. Uh, part he played in going outside stone head if that actually happened because I'm telling you the scenes were just too you know you couldn't really tell who would hit who but like I said if it was any information to be have given they would have probably took the whole crew down and you know the ones that said they were the ones that started the fight everybody would have been in jail okay but there was no harm no foul or maybe Bravo paid them off. I have no idea. But everybody came home safe and sound. And that was the most important thing that should have happened. You starting all that ruckus over there, girl. So anyway. Dennis didn't come in. He said, uh-uh, fuck that. I'm, I'm, I'm dropping off my daughter. As you can see, she's safe and sound. And it was just a, such a cute picture. You could tell he spends a lot of time with his daughter. And then he pays a lot of attention to her. Because when he was leaving and stuff, she was like, no, daddy, daddy, dad. You know, and I felt so sorry. I felt so sorry uh, for that. But like I said, Portia has to play her part. If she wanted to continue to be with Dennis, she had to wait Dennis out in a sense. Or sign a prenup. One way or the other, something had to be done. But she didn't she wasn't wanting to do any of that. But I bet if Simon asked her to sign a prenup, she gonna sign it with no, you know, holes barred or any of that. But, you know, it's like she wants both men. I do agree. I believe she is in love with Dennis Steele. And I think he do have a little thing for her too. Uh, mostly for her assets and because she is the mother of his child that has a big way in but then you have to do the counter effect that she don't want to sign a prenup she's looking at all this money she can have after she throw me away uh, she wants to have the, the final say on everything she disrespect my mom and that's just a lot you know to talk about then she got on him at the end talking about um this scene at the end she was on time out trying to write down a schedule or what they can follow for the holidays and you know how many uh it's you know she have her this holiday he'll have her that holiday and i guess you were talking about but well, you can have her this week and then you bring her back to me this it's some foolish shit like that and i'm like no nah, that ain't what disney's talking about and um she, she, evidently she kind of got the picture that's what he wasn't talking about because he started bringing up shit like you know she was selling dentist you don't you don't pay for anything and i'm like portia y'all not married you don't have to pay your spousal support and if you want to put him on child support i'm sure he'll be up with that because at least he don't have to worry about that you know everything that he's supposed to pay for he gonna pay for if he give anything extra that's him but whatever is signed on the dollar line that's what he's supposed to do uh, quick fast in a hurry and this the end of the story once that judge sign off on that so that thing you think he need to be doing extra if he don't feel like he need to be doing extra since you do have a husband that will be her stepdad uh yeah i think that was be a stepdad would that be a step like that guys yeah that was be her stepdad because he has no biological uh things in it they married into something so okay it'll be that but anyway that was just some crazy ass shit and I was like, I know Dennis ain't gonna fall for this shit. And he like, uh-uh. See, he already don't talk to a lawyer. They don't send pa Portia papers and everything. And Portia told me she ain't seen no papers. Just like you ain't seen that roll, right, Portia? Uh-huh. Yeah, right. And London tried to get her back that roll. But evidently, Simon put his foot down. Uh, when she had met with London for uh, lunch or whatnot. And she's like, I don't want it. Just give it to him. Just that in the third. Simon said, I said, oh, Lord. Simon said, did. Yeah. Simon said, jump out the, the, the boat. You're going to jump out the boat. Simon said, jump out the uh, the edge of a mountain. You're going to jump out. Simon said, yeah. Simon, like that game. Simon said, you do whatever Simon tell you to do. Okay. If you don't, there's consequences. All right. But it just, it, it is what it is. She thinks Simon is her savior. Her, 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 her. her her uh go-to guy but she's still trying to hold on dennis behind the scenes but i'm like girl is he gonna be with simon be with simon if you're either gonna be with dennis be with dennis but you damn sure ain't gonna be with both of them at the same time because simon ain't gonna have you already got your aunt liz at the ending of the show telling her that yes she is um jose's granddaughter this that and the third and um which is not his only granddaughter because you know got a granddaughter with um what's her name bailey uh lauren's um uh, daughter so it ain't like she just uh, you know i'm sure liz uh, liz got kids uh too they have grandchildren so but just to speak on that part uh simon was telling Aunt liz 
you know, you need to show Portia a little bit more respect. Your whole family need to show her a little bit more respect than what child is showing her. And my Liz can say shit, but she's going to get in her confessionals and try to, you know, boss up and stuff like that. I said, uh, Liz, you're in worth a shit. Because anybody said that about a, 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 a relative of mine, and he ain't even, and not even in the family yet. Girl, we've been tearing that whole Jose Williams uh, parking lot up. <laughs> I would've been, I would've been showing up and showing out on his ass. I wouldn't be picking up that now, but I'd be pointing my finger, walking at the same time, and he would've been backing up till we got to his car. And then I would've opened up his car, told him to get in, and I would've shut the door and walked the hell off. You know, what I'm saying? that's that's the reason shit that I would do. You know, but you ain't gonna get in my ass about somebody that I know about. You just trying to know about her. But um, uh, Auntie Liz, her mouth was closed. You know, and she she was like, like looking like, I know this, this ear ain't talking to me. I said, yeah, go get your husband because you ain't doing shit. You are not doing shit. London can handle Portia a lot more better, even though she broke down at the end. But London can handle her a lot more better than you can. Then I was mad at Aunt Liz because, you know, she was still trying to milk people for their their uh, donations and, and anything they can give her. I'm like, girl, I know the Jose Williams got funds for stuff, events that you're trying to throw. Why you why are you trying to, you know, throw London name in there? Because when she was meeting with uh, Dennis for breakfast and she was trying to, you know, sing all his accolades and praises and to him, like she could teach him how to be a man and do manly things. No, nah, that's what your husband should have been doing along with you meeting with him and him having a man-to-man -man conversation you ain't no man aunt liz you just the nurturing side he already had a mother for that and she nurtured him very well okay so the, all that shit you were saying I, it was not necessary at all but then at the end you're gonna say well linda wanted me to ask you can you provide hot dogs i'm like damn liz cut Lundy out the situation. You dealt with Dennis. You know what was talked about between you and Lundy. Why you just didn't ask Dennis, can he provide hot dogs? You know what I'm saying? And that would have been the end of it because I'm pretty sure with Dennis Hart and he, he has, it's a write off for him. He sure could have served. He says, How many hot dogs you need? I ain't going to be him. I'm going to be out of town trying, I guess, go to his other restaurants to see what's going on. Maybe he's trying to build a restaurant up there. Who knows? But he was going out of town. He made it very clear he wasn't going to be him. But just, you know, call me, text me, tell me how many hot dogs you need, and I'll have them on deck for you. And then she's like, oh, Okay, okay, because Auntie Liz is a user. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all try to tell me about her, this and that. Uh -uh. But if you keep watching Playback, Payback, keep watching her facial expressions, you see how she go between the two. Liz is a user. I'm sorry. But moving on from her, because uh, like I said, I, I, I really don't care too much for Liz. I need to... I need to see her other family, you know what I'm saying? Because she even got shade, talking about, well, now, got that division, uh, divisionist, uh, what do you call it, divisionist spirit again. But she was trying to say, no, that ain't the Jose Williams side. That's, uh, that, because he got seven children over him. But, uh, that's Diane's Williams side. You know, like, what kind of shit is that? So, you already saying, you don't get a hell of a means about Diane. Yeah, she's subject to certain, uh, criticism, stuff of that nature. But, you know, I'm sure you and your family have definitely given her all that criticism and looked down on her like she was a slut. She didn't need to be in the family. She wasn't worthy. She didn't have that caliber and this, that, and the third. And she probably got that shit from your mama. Okay, because it's all it does. It feeds from one matriarch to the next matriarch when the other one gets older dead and I, I don't appreciate that so whatever your mama was talking about her son going around with diane she wasn't of the right caliber and diane was pretty much educating herself too she was in undergrad school uh i think in athens athens georgia might have been georgia bulldogs whatnot um she was down there with your brother he was she was doing her undergrad studies on i don't know what but he was doing his um pre-law or pre-med i can't remember but he was doing something no he i think he was trying to be a lawyer and he was down there doing his post-grad so i'm like you know we didn't tell you who to marry i'm sure they didn't tell you who to marry so how you all up in um your brother's business about who he want to fool with he wasn't good either he was a popping was rolling stone he's doing all his little dirt too okay but it is is what it is they got the hell i got hella mad at least I'm, I'm sorry I, i'm just not full so don't try to convince me i'm just not full um 
and uh, and I'm not for Portia no more because Portia doing too much. She's trying to literally take Dennis out of her family when that's all baby girl PJ know him being a part of their family and their family functions and you know where's her daddy? He's seeing him and all these kind of stuff. Now she want to just like no, nah, he can't come to him. no more family gatherings. We ain't gonna have it. We ain't gonna deal with it and all this stuff. You have your side. She come to. She come to outside. You going about your business. I mean, London done got to know him, love him too. Um, what's her name? Lauren, your sister, got to know him. Hell, you, your mom even said she like him too. So what your mom got to say about that girl? What the rest of your family got to say about that? They, they want Dennis. Even the grandmama, Diane's mama, like the Dennis. You know what I'm saying? Cause he said she remind him of her son. They like to go around him screwing everything. Okay. But anyway, we digress from all of that. But like I said, it was, it was just a hot mess. I mean, then, you know, uh, London going in there trying to talk to Portia about why she favored Storm over her. Why she didn't take up for her. You know, like she was doing London. And then Portia going to be sarcastically silly and dumb as hell. Talking about, well, she was the closest one. <laughs> she, she, she was closest to me. So I might well take up for her. And I'm like, girl, are you crazy? You sounded better on the clip when you were saying that, you know, you cut her off. You didn't let her finish and this, that, and the third. But you coming up here on being sarcastically stupid. Talking about, well, she, I took up for her because she was right next to me. What kind of shit is that, Portia? What kind of shit is that? I'm like, uh-uh. And all the reason you like the Dom, because Dom went up to crew lounge or, or, or the fact hot dog factory he saw well i think it probably was crew lounge he saw a girl that he screwed while you were pregnant with the with with y'all baby and you were just using dumb as somebody that could infiltrate and, and be around and see what's comes and goings over there at the crew lounge where dennis still had that girl being employed so he, he was your little snitch he was your comeback your bone collector come back with the information so you can get on dennis but instead of you just saying okay dennis we ain't gonna work we ain't gonna make it but guess what you my um daughter's dad i'm gonna treat you appropriate but we just need to not have a relationship we don't need to talk about getting married no more we just need to co-parent i wish you well you wish me well whenever i find somebody and we just go like that but now of course she wanted to play both sides she wanted that ring back but uh dennis won't give it back to her until she signed that prenup but we see how that is and some people on the streets on the youtube street they were saying that Portia was already fooling around with that man before he even became divorced from when he was messing with fallon which was her co uh we call it her uh co-star or cast mate in the real housewives of atlanta at the time but you know of course of course Portia gonna try to play it off like it wasn't no big deal she didn't know her she was just like you know trying to fill out was she gonna make the cut this that and the third and she just been friendly to him but you went over to her house when they were filming eating up her food drinking up her uh liquor and smoking her hookah okay when well, you know you were screwing her husband way back when probably two or three months ago all right so no nah, Portia, that that's not gonna we're not going with that okay but Portia really got mad at lundy because she was like why is this man dennis infiltrating my whole family and turning my whole family against me that's a, that's really what her stance was and like i said she was just blaming lundy for not being there for her and why her family thinks she got to be there for them all the time and why is her family listening to dennis and why is dennis sitting up him being the main focus when y'all supposed to be my family oh she was getting all kind of nasty with it and she just got up from the table went and talked to the producer like no we can't we can't i'm tired of my family i can't take this shit no more just that and third you know making lundy feel all kinds of bad you know what i'm saying and lundy, lundy just broke down and cried i like hell i wouldn't have been crying i've been cussing poor your ass out and be telling her this the quickest i can get off your shoulder the quickest i need where's my check where's my check for being on this all uh, show because i really need to tell them what you do how you feel about the family and then everything that's gonna be some good tea you know that's what i i would have did i ain't breaking down crying for not nobody but anyways then she cut your two checks line the shit it would have been like on like popcorn then we would have been singing like birds out there singing like the canaries on the tree talking to one another but um it just is what it is then um i told y'all about that <sighs> And then Dennis was telling Aunt Liz we hadn't made up for met up for breakfast. 
that uh you know his mom feel real bad still about how everything transpired she's depressed she don't know and i like oh, you know but then take care of your mom honey get some therapy because all this shit worried about poor i think she probably uh trying to fill out if portia gonna take it out on her not seeing her only grandchild and that would be piss poor judgment on portia uh side because if mama gina wanted to go to the courts and petition about her grandchild i'm pretty sure she would win okay so in georgia is a state where grandparents have uh rights to so if she ain't singing right and doing right yeah let's go and put some papers on her in the cab county and, and meet her in court and tell her what's been happening okay uh and that would probably uh mess portia up mentally but you know portia going around here acting like a child we might retreat portia like a child you know her mama lied to portia portia lied to her mama that's the kind of relationship they have about things that happen in the family and that's you know they just take up for one another and that is what it is okay um I think that was about it, guys. Oh, that silly shit uh, Simon did when uh, Portia called herself making dinner for uh, Eeyore. Uh, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Boyfriend? Because I, I ain't getting with that fiance shit no more. Because uh, they might not even get married. You know what I'm saying? Because they talking about not bringing her uh, reunion back for this. They don't need to. Just let, it, let, just let the fire department come in and, 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 and uh, what do you call it? put the fire off the train because we don't sit off the train we don't crash burn and just just let the uh fireman just uh hose it down and and, and res don't resurrect it just put it on uh somewhere else and if portia gets a spinoff to do her wedding thing that'll be better because we don't need to see no co-parenting because they're they gonna do what they want to do anyway i think it's a fictitious type of situation because he gonna show portia on her <coughs> on his cell phone when he got um back over her house because she was making dinner for him or whatnot so he showed her um uh, a piece of paper uh that was on his phone that he's no longer married to uh fallon and they can go on with their nuptials and, and, and their life and this that and the third i said honey he should have been showing you the your name on that deed of the house that y'all bought that's what he need to be showing you and then this piece of paper he talking about i needed to see it in where i can hold it where i could feel the paper and i could see the stamp the seal that they put on them the judge clerk do saying this is final this is where everybody to sign it looks legal and i need to make a copy so i can keep it and put it in my black portfolio or something to that degree you know what I'm saying? I've been getting papers on his ass. I keep trying to get papers on Fallon's ass. And we damn sure will get uh, my name on that deed of the house. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to be making payments, and if you want to skip out and stuff like that, I, 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 they're going to come for your ass, too. Because they ain't just going to get me. Because I can go back home to the house I left my mama in. Okay. Well, anyway, it just is what it is. Um... But that's what he would have been showing me. We, 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 we definitely wouldn't be talking about uh, no paperwork on whether he's divorced or not. Because y'all have already crossed that bridge. It done tore down. And we don't care too much shit if she still about it. But we've been talking about that deed on that house. But we already know uh, Simon is, you know, he the man. He wear the pants. And whatever he say, it goes. You know, even though, you know, she don't put herself in a very bad predicament again. She has no income. Uh, so for this show you know she's getting money for this show but once that's dried up because we don't need to resurrect this show that's no more income for her she's depending on a man to take care of her which you know if you had some kind of medical defect or whatnot or you were getting disability or not okay but if you're willing and able go on and keep your job honey go on and keep your job I say that for the men i say that for the women because sometimes shit don't act right people don't act right and then people have to go their separate ways and then you be ass out or somebody gonna be ass out so do your due diligence. I always say keep that in mind. You know, because anything can happen. A person will be in their right mind saying they want to take care of you. But then, you know, things happen. Person dies. You know, I don't know if they left a good insurance policy for you to stay in the lap of luxury that you're used to when they were here. Or they might get around here and fool around and you find out about it. Then you want to just cut them out you want to just uh -uh, we can't go no further because infidelity was like the, the key breaking stone for this relationship because i don't never forget about it i forgive you but i never forget about it and it ain't fair to me or you uh to be holding back on the past this is the same thing portia should have been thinking with the same uh wavelength i'm thinking if you're gonna forgive somebody forgive them if you ain't gonna be able to forget what they did 
then that's a problem. That's a that's a very big problem. But uh, she couldn't decipher or decide one way or the other, and that's why she's in the predicament she is. If you forgive a person for an infringement that they did, ain't saying you got to be around them no more. They don't have the right to be around you no more or your your personal space. But forgive them and move on, because the forgiveness is more for you than for them. Okay, that means that you don't set in your heart, you don't forgave, you don't have no ill will towards them, you don't have no bitterness towards them. You're good. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't got to be around them. Like you know, you can call me. That's how the kid doing or whatever we make pleasantries but don't get in my personal life don't try to come around you know me and my family you know that type of situation if everything has ended and we en we ended up on a bad tone don't do that you know you got your family you can come get the key anytime you want to take her out go on let her ed be educated on your side of the family this then and third but you know you got to move in baby steps and then with some orderly reason orderly fashion way down the road whatever you want to have them come over and be with the family again because you don't start your life over whatever then it should be no issue if you got a man or not you know if you want to be in that where you want to bring him back around your family because everybody miss him, everybody be talking about him or whatnot uh, and he want to come back with a, a female that he's dating or whatever that should be no uh, real issue because you're over him you like, I pray for her if he still got them same ways. But, you know, it's just is what it is. You know? So, Portia cut up a little bit too much. Um, and that's pretty much I can say about it. I, we can all pray for her. But that girl, she's really thinking this man is going to take care of her. And she's trying to 86 or cut out Dennis from, you know, being around her family. Just pay attention to his daughter. You know, she uh, wants to put him on child support, I guess, and any other support she can find, even though she's getting married to a billionaire. You know, it just is what it is. But I'm like, Portia, if he has a house, he has insurance on the child, he has food, water, and shelter for her, that's all he got because he ain't living with you, okay? Yeah, I'm sure he's going to have food for his baby and stuff when she's dead. Everything going to be good in the neighborhood. So, it's called a 50-50 split. So, when he's with you... You should be able to have food, shelter, clothing for her and any unnecessary necessity she needs as well. You admitted to everybody on the TV screen that he pays child I mean he pays daycare, child care. And it's a private school she's in. So if he's paying that, and that can damn be expensive when you're talking about a private school. You ain't paying for that. So what else you want the man to pay for? You already got a little man that's supposed to be helping you out. What do you want? Because the judge ain't going to give you no more than what he see, what Dennis makes, uh, and, and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, like I said, you need to have health care insurance on her as well. You know, in case Dennis, I don't know, lose his business or whatever and he don't have insurance. But I'm, I'm guessing you have insurance because you're she's having surgery and all that kind of shit. So, she got insurance. So, I mean, what do you want? What what could you possibly want from this man when you got another man that you say you love, you finna marry, he's a billionaire? Okay? And you had said Dennis won no billionaire. You don't know really how much he made, but he ain't making like Simon. But I'm like, at least we can go to uh, Dennis's businesses and see what he's been able to accomplish. We, we can't see anything with Simon. You know? So I'm like, what is Simon doing? Now, you want to give us a show where we just watch you and Simon? I don't know how boring that would be. I don't know how the ratings would be, but I'm good. I'm good. I'll watch it. Okay, we'll see how you climbing on that way of, of life you're trying to live with him. But that's all I got for um, this final last episode. And it was uh, called... Get, can't get it right. And I'm just right. I'm like, y'all can't get it right. Y'all need to be together. Hell no. I had promise for y'all. Y'all just ain't seen to get it right. Y'all ain't on the same page. And Dennis is looking more smarter and logical and he's reasoning better than you are, Portia. You the damn mama. Ugh. But that was a Real Housewives of Atlanta season one, episode seven. Can't get it right. Portia Family Matters. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Um... Because I, 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 I can only give y'all what I got. I can only give y'all what I got. Because I'm telling you, I used to want to run upstairs and go on and cut the video. But I'm like, I needed a drink. I need the whole damn bottle of wine that I like that I can't even drink because, you know, medical problems. But I needed a whole bottle of wine. I'm like, what the hell? I just watched him. This is a train wreck. The train had already come off the tracks, fell down the canal, burst into flames. Got the uh call the fire department to come put the uh fire out, and then they talking about damn, Porsche ain't getting the uh uh reunion. 
I'm like, they want to get her two more episodes of a reunion? Hell no. Uh-uh. Nope. Scrap it. Cut it up. Move it on. Because it's too much logistics or legalities here. They got him on saying Storm had attacked her and all this sexual assault. Like, Ain't nobody want to be bothered with all that. Uh-uh. She couldn't bring her family in here and just fuss and cuss and, you know, just do all that. But don't lay no hands. She was up there throwing bowls, plates, knives, silverware, uh, boom boxes. Anything she could grab. Hell, she, if she could pick Simon up and throw him at dinner, she probably would have did that too. That girl was just out of control. And then she was out of control on two other scenes uh, filming in this last episode. One with Dennis trying to start shit with him, getting up on the table. Like she wanted to do something like, ooh, somebody. And the producer had to run over because they didn't know what she was going to do. And I like, we ain't having this shit. We had this shit in Mexico. We sure ain't having this in the States, okay? Cool it. So she had to really pretty much take Porsche away from the table. And Dennis had to get up and say, deuces, you know? Then she wanted to get shit with her cousin Lundy. Like she wanted to go over there and attack Lundy. You know, I'm like, damn, Lundy would just give you a piece of advice to try to find some understanding on where she got fired. Why did you want to fire her? Why do you want to take up for one cousin, not the other cousin? Just questions. That's all she needed answers to. You got up from the table, calling yourself, uh, being mad at Lundy thinking you supposed to, uh, take up for her. And you know, nobody take up for her, uh, you know, Portia when she was going through her shit. I'm like, oh, you got baby cousins baby baby cousins these ain't cousins like right next to you like i was stair step like you and your uh sister lauren here you had lauren you had your mama support damn who else you want out there because you know you did your dirt too they say you slept with bolo but you was in a relationship with dennis still so you tell me who right who wrong i don't know but anyway that's all i have for this uh particular episode the finale Thank God. Thank God. Okay. And we will see y'all on something else. Because you know I'll be talking about Porsche again. Because I bought the book. And I still ain't got halfway through that book. But I'm on chapter 7 next time y'all see me. Okay. Y'all be blessed. And then look at this little picture right here. She's going to talk about she wanted to have a brother and sister relationship. What kind of shit is that? What kind of. How you going to have a brother in relationship with this person. And you had a baby by this man. You finna marry this man. So how you can change y'all family dynamics to brother and sister. Poor she got some fucked up ways and some fucked up thinking. I'm telling you, this girl is crazy, guys. She crazy. All right, but that's all I got. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.